Wilson disease. This is a accumulation of copper in the liver and other organs. And it can result in hepatic or neurologic symptoms. It is genetic, so it's present from birth. And it is autosomal recessive. That is the mode of inheritance. So what exactly is happening in Wilson disease? It is really a problem of impaired transport of copper. As a result, the copper is not able to go into the bile. And this decreased copper secretion into the bile results in copper accumulating in the liver. This leads to eventual fibrosis and cirrhosis of the liver. Later, this excess copper can go into the bloodstream and then travel to other organs such as the brain and even the eye. And this leads to the following symptomatology. Symptoms can start anywhere between ages 5 to 35 and one of the most common is of course a clinical picture of hepatitis because the liver is significantly affected by this accumulation of copper. The next set of symptoms involves the central nervous system because of the copper traveling to the brain. And those symptoms include tremor, difficulty speaking, difficulty swallowing, and problems with coordination. Patient later can also develop psychiatric abnormalities. A very important physical exam sign, finding, is something that you see in the eye. And that is a green or gold or brown pigment. And it is described or looks like a ring around the rim of the cornea and iris. And I have a photo. So here is the photo of this very prominent ring that is around the rim of that cornea and iris and it can be green or gold or brown and it has a special name it's known as a Kaiser Flesher ring and this is pathognomonic for Wilson disease the diagnostic workup of Wilson disease involves the eye exam which of course will show those Kaiser Flesher rings a 24-hour urine copper excretion and that will be high it will be greater than a hundred micrograms per day the normal is less than 30 a very important test is a ceruloplasmin level ceruloplasmin is a copper carrying protein it is synthesized in the liver, but in liver disease, such as Wilson disease, the synthesis of ceruloplasmin is deficient. So in Wilson disease, ceruloplasmin levels will be low. Treatment of Wilson disease involves a medication known as penicillamine and treatment is lifelong and penicillamine is a chelating drug and what that means is that it binds to the accumulated copper and then eliminates it through the urine and this helps prevent copper from accumulating another important aspect of the treatment or management of Wilson disease 
is lifelong adherence to a low copper diet. So now let's take a look at a couple of vignettes. A 29 year old man suffered from hepatitis splenomegaly, a Coombs negative hemolytic anemia, and portal hypertension during his adolescent and earlier adult years. Now he is showing signs of behavioral and personality changes with emotional lability. In addition, he has a profound resting tremor, his speech has become slurred and difficult to understand, and he drools and has trouble swallowing. Physical exam shows a rim of brown pigment around the perimeter of the cornea, which of the following lab findings would most likely be reported. So this is describing a patient with Wilson disease. And if you remember, the copper-carrying protein known as ceruloplasmin is deficient in its synthesis because there's liver disease and the liver is where it is normally synthesized. So its levels will be low and that is choice A. A 13-year-old girl is brought to the pediatrician because her mother says she just sits around. Physical exam reveals akinesia and rigidity without other obvious neurologic deficits. Her eyes are unusual with thin greenish brown rings around the outer edge of the cornea. Serum liver enzymes are moderately elevated. Which of the following meds would likely be most effective in treating this patient? So again, they describe those Kaiser Flesher rings. And the treatment of Wilson disease is lifelong with a medication known as penicillamine. It is a chelating agent that will bind to the copper and eliminate it through the urine.